Today we're going to start our Scholastic Readers. Today's is My Big World with Clifford. What should he wear? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go to that first page. You can turn your page now. Dress for spring weather. So this is telling us to circle what you would wear in the weather. Over here in this first box, do you see it? This says, what would you wear in rainy weather? So what we're going to do is take one of your markers or crayons or pencils. And we're going to see, would you wear a raincoat in rainy weather? Yes. Yes, good. So we're going to circle the raincoat. Good. Would we wear ice skates in rainy weather? No. No, that's silly. So are we going to circle that one or no? No. No, we're not going to circle that one. What about rain boots? Would we wear yes. rain boots? Yes, yes, we would wear rain boots. Let's circle that one. Good job, guys. All right, the next one we're going to do is right over here, this yellow box. What would you wear in hot, sunny weather? What do you think? Uh, is it that parker that's a no, heavy coat? No, do we do that? No, no. No, we don't wear that one. What about a baseball hat? Could we wear that when it's hot and sunny? A hat? Yes. Yeah, I think we can wear a hat when it's hot and sunny. So we're going to circle that because one. Because in the summer you can't go to play games. We can go outside and play games. So what about a t-shirt? Could we wear a t-shirt when yes. it's hot and sunny? We can. So we're going to circle that one. Awesome job, everybody. What about this one here is the green box. You see the green box over here? What would you wear in cool, windy weather? We have flip-flops, a sweater, and snow boots. Would we wear flip-flops when it's a really cool, windy weather? No. Mm -mm. So we are not going to circle that one. What about a sweater when it's cool and windy? Do we yeah. wear sweaters? Yes. Yes, we do. So I think we can circle that one. What about snow boots? No. Do we wear snow boots when no, it's... No, no, no. No, not when it's windy. All right. Great job, guys. What about this one? What color is that one? Red. Red. Yeah, this is a red box. In the red box, what when, I mean, what season does it look like? Winter. Winter. Yep. What would you wear in snowy weather? Would you wear a tank top in snowy weather? No. No, I think you'd be too cold. cold. Right, so we're not going to circle that one. What about mittens? Like gloves, they go on our hands. Yeah. yeah. We would need those to keep ourselves warm. We're going to circle that one. What about a snowsuit? Yes. Mm-hmm. I think we can circle a snowsuit. All right, let's see what it says down here. Emily Elizabeth and her friends wanted to play outside. Now it's raining out and they have to stay inside. They feel disappointed. What could they do inside? What should they do? What are some things they can do inside um, to play? Play with toys. We can play with our toys. You. We can color. We can paint. We can Right, we can go dance. on a scavenger hunt. We can dance. Yeah, good job. Perfect. All right. Let's go to the back page now. It all be they just didn't have to flip it. Right, you just flip it over. All right. So, you see over here it says my name and there's a line right here. Yeah. We're going to take our marker and we're going to write our names. You write your name, I'll write my name. Miss Dana. That's me. Ella. You guys write your names. Ella. Good. Thanks. Now, we're going to take our markers or crayons that match these. See, we have red, green, yellow two. and blue I'm and they have the numbers on them one two three and four we'll get color and we're gonna color in this 
This starts with the letter U. What is this thing here? This is an umbrella. And these are raindrops. And they all have numbers. So there's one over here, two. There's some more twos, some fours, some threes. We're going to match up the color okay. to finish our so umbrella. Should we I think we're going to start with the number one, which is what color? Red. Red. Yep, red. So let's look for the number one on, on our umbrella. I think, look, it's right here, the number one. Yeah. So we're going to color that whole thing in. in. All red. And if you need another one, you can just get another one. It might be drying out. You can get another one if it's drying out. You can use a crayon, a marker, a pencil, a whatever you want to use. Okay, are we all ready? I'll give you another second. Okay. Now remember, yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. It could look different. You could have a different shade of red. It's okay. Good job, guys. All right, next we're going to do the number two, which is yellow. So we're going to find our number twos, and there are two number twos here. So now we're going to color in all of our number twos yellow. Okay, done. Good job. Let's just wait a minute for everybody to finish, even me. Good. Perfect. Now we're going to do number three, which is blue. Let's find all of our number threes. Look, one, two, three, there are four number threes. Let's color all those raindrops in with blue. Everybody's doing a great job. Yep. I'll give you guys another minute. You're all doing great. Okay. Good job. All right, we have our last number, number four, and it's green. Green. Let's do our number fours. Green. Look at that, Miss Dana went out of the lines a little bit. It's okay. I think I want to say Patrick's Day green. There you go. We colored our umbrella for the letter U. Good job, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Bye.